So, hi, my name's Dennis Croxall. I was lucky enough to be shortlisted for the um, ASI Air Experience Officer for the Plus. Uh, as you can see, I have um, quite a few items from ZWO. And this arrived today. This is the latest one, the Plus. Um, I have been using the Pro for about three months now. It's been excellent. It hasn't given me any problem at all. There was a short learning curve with the with the software on the phone, but other than that, it's been a pleasure to use. Um, but now we're moving on to the Plus. Uh, the latest one, there's a couple of reasons I wanted to get this over the Pro. The main reason being the external antenna. Uh, also, there's a few items in the software that we'll see later um, that, that appeal to me over the Pro. The antenna alone, I think, is worth the upgrade. Anyway, so let's see what we've got. So, uh, this arrived this morning. Um, we have a, like a, an introduction card, so on, nice little touch. And we have the plus. This is the little item we're, uh, we've all been waiting for. Um, there it is, with the external antenna. And we also have uh, a set of cables. I think these are similar to the ones that uh, I got with the ASA, ASI Air Pro. Um, they look to be the same. Uh, I think there's an extension cable and three or four uh, just the regular power cables. Now these are the uh, 5.2 millimeter, 5.5 uh, millimeter, 2.1 millimeter internal measurement. Those are the standard power jacks for, for all of these uh, ASI Air uh, devices. So that's that. I'm not going to bother opening those. Uh, let's just have a look at the comparison between the Plus and the Pro. Uh, the Pro, as I said earlier, I've uh, been using this for about three months. Absolutely fantastic uh, piece of kit. Uh, what can I say about this? The uh, firmware and the OS is all on this small chip here. It's the micro SD card. Um, we have the on off switch power in, uh, that's just um, a few mounting holes. We have the USB 3, USB 2, which at the moment I just have a small thumb drive in on the USB 3. Uh, the other USB 3 slot is used for the main camera. USB 2 is used for um, the mount connection. Uh, I'm using a Celestron CGM 2 and uh, it works fine with that. There's a little bit of setting up on the hand control with the C-Gem, but um, it literally takes me about, I don't know, 40 seconds to do that setup on the hand control. And then we move over and we've got control through the ASI Air. Now that's all gonna be the same on the Plus. Uh, I don't think there's anything changing there. Um, the other USB 2 is used for my guide camera and we've got the RJ45 for a wired internet. Um, there's a dovetail mount, uh, four power inputs, the 12 volt uh, with the 5.5, uh, 2.1 millimeter jacks go in there. Uh, and that's it really. That's uh, it's, a, it's a nice looking box. It's all um, uh, aluminum, it's all metal. And uh, if we have a look at the size compared to the Plus, I think the, the Plus is a wee bit longer, maybe. Uh, about the same width. Uh, I think the, the, the big difference is in, the, is, is in the height there. The new Plus is probably, I don't know, a quarter of an inch uh, smaller, maybe a bit more. Um, Comparing the uh, the inputs, the 
new thing with the plus is you actually have indicator lights here uh, showing you which input uh, jack is operational uh, other than that they're the same um, the obvious uh, change here is uh, you've got now got a uh, an external antenna uh, we have the power on and off we have indicators for power uh, the system uh, which this doesn't have uh, it has the power and, it, and, and basically the card. Um, the reset on the Pro is via a, um, you have to insert a small uh, uh, paper clip or something in there. And then there's the Wi-Fi indicator. Uh, you, on this one, you have the Wi-Fi here. You have a, this is new, you have a reset button for the, for the OS um, and the, uh, the input there. I should mention at this point that uh, the big difference, the other big difference with this unit is of course that um, the operating system has been moved from the um, SD card on the Pro, the old way of doing things. Now the, uh, the OS and uh, a certain amount of storage for images and so on is all internal. It's on a uh, it's on a on a chip, uh, hardwired into the device. Uh, it's an eMMC chip. Uh, I think uh, around twenty gigs of storage plus the operating system. It's all been moved, shall we say, on board. It's no longer on the on the SD card. You don't have to back up SD cards, and then all the uh, um, software updates and that is going to be through. Um, a connection uh, with, with the phone and it's, you know, basically um, it, it's all done internal now there's no need for the SD card uh, there is an SD card slot on this for uh, for external storage but uh, that's all that's going to be used for um, as I say everything's been moved inboard now and is on a chip so uh, one advantage of that, I'm told, is that uh, the OS system is going to be a lot more stable. Um, and if there is an issue with it, you can, uh, apparently I haven't tested this yet, and I will do in the next video, you can just hit the reset button and all those problems should, uh, should go away. So uh, that's another big feature of the new Plus, and uh, I'll, I'll, be, uh, I'll be interested to see how that works. Um, if it's as good as uh, the EWO say it is, then uh, again, another big advantage over the, over the older Pro. Um, and uh, I'll look at that uh, again in the next video. The, this side, this side's different. You have the mounting holes like the Pro, but you also have uh, USB-C um, for direct connection to the PC to download uh, images. You also have a slot for a micro SD card um, and you can record your images onto that. I think the, the option for these, I think it's, it is in the software menu, we'll look at that later. Um, but that's the big difference on that side. Uh, this side's pretty much the same. Uh, there's no difference there. You've got USB 3, USB 2 and RJ45 ports. So physically, that's the difference between the two. The Pro, which as I said, I've used for a couple of months now, had no issues with it whatsoever. Excited to start uh, trying this, the new one, the Plus, um, especially with the, uh, see what this ex external antenna does with the uh, Wi-Fi range. Um, and I shall uh, go through the software setup in my next video and uh, we'll, uh, we'll hook everything up and see how this one works. Uh, but that's it for this video. Um, so uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.